Oh, it is Devora. Hi there, Devora. <laughs> wow, a honey sale. Only 25 cents. Devora, are you selling some honey? <laughs> That's so clever. You know, Devora is a bee, and bees make delicious honey. And Devora is having a honey sale. That's so special. Well, let's see how much money you've made so far, Devora. I see one and two quarters. You've made 50 cents. Amazing. Devora, what are you raising this money for? Oh, that's nice. Devora would like to buy a brand new bow for her hair or maybe for her antenna. Well, that would be very pretty, Devora. How much does a bow cost? Oh, a bow only costs 25 cents. Well, guess what, Devora? You have two 25 cent coins. So one of those coins, you could buy yourself a bow, but you have an extra one. You have two. Hmm, what could Devora do with an extra 25 cents? Well, Devora, you could buy two bows, or you could give the other quarter to Sidaka. Would you like to do that, Devora? Oh, wow. You know, Tzedakah is a beautiful mitzvah. Tzedakah is the mitzvah where we help somebody else other than ourselves. So, giving money to somebody who's poor, or giving a friend something that they don't have, like a pencil or an extra marker. Yeah, that could be an example of Tzedakah, too. But usually when we think of Tzedakah, we think of putting coins inside a Tzedakah box and then giving that money to a poor family, or to a shul, or a school, or to anyone who could use the money and help do more mitzvahs and nice things. And that's a really special mitzvah. Is that what you'd like to do, Devorah? Wow, Devorah, you really do a lot of mitzvahs. So I'll tell you what. Here's your coins, here's your quarter, and the other extra quarter for the tzedakah, and your other quarter for the bow. And I'm just going now to the Judaica store to buy a new tzedakah box. How great is that? So when I get back, I'll help you do the mitzvah of tzedakah. I'm really proud of you. I'll see you soon, Devora. Keep on selling that delicious honey. Be back soon. Come along with me. We're gonna go check out a Judaica store. Come along. Come along, come along, come along right now. We'll sing together, I'll show you how. Come along, come along, come along with me. Come along with Rabbi B. Come along, come along, come along right now. We'll sing together, I'll show you how. Come along, come along, come along with me. Come along with Rabbi B. We'll say Moda'ani with the morning sun. Get into the mood and join the fun. Let's thank Hashem for everything. Dance around with that Simcha feeling. Come along, come along, come along right now. We'll sing together, I'll show you how. Come along, come along, come along with me. Come along with Rabbi B. Come along with Rabbi B. Come along with Rabbi B. Hey, Jody. Hello. How are you? Baruch Hashem. Thank you so much so for... Nice uh, to have you here at Israel's. Uh, it's so nice to be here. I love Judaica stores. They're so much fun to look around and... Isn't that great? Well, we're so happy that 
you're here and uh, what are you looking for today? So we're looking for a tzedakah box. I'm sure you have some tzedakah We've boxes. come to the right place. We I definitely so. do. Great. We have uh, several over there. Do you want to just come with me? And yes, let's go check them? them out. Sure. I really do love visiting Judaica stores. They sell all the things we need to do mitzvahs. Like here are some beautiful Shabbat candles. And some much needed challah covers. They sell cups for Kiddush, plates for Pesach, and lots and lots of yarmulkes, kippahs. They have many kinds of menorahs, Chanukiot. Wow, look at that one. They even have cases for your Megillah for Purim. Wow, they have lots of mezuzah cases. And lots and lots of Jewish books. Even books just for kids. Hey, I think I recognize someone on one of those books. But I came today to the Judaica store to buy a tzedakah box, and they sure have a lot to choose from. They have this one, it's very colorful. And they have one that looks like a rubber duck. Oh, and this one looks like Noah's Ark. They have tzedakah boxes made out of wood and some made out of metal. Wow, that is a beautiful tzedakah box. It looks just like the Beit HaMikdash. I like it so much, I think I'm gonna buy this one. It's a beautiful one. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah, the Beit HaMikdash, and it reminds me that when we give tzedakah, we help to build the Beit HaMikdash Hashlishi, the third Beit HaMikdash. So, I'd like to purchase that, please. Okay, well, I have you here, and I'm happy that you found something that you like. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Mr. Thank you. And here's your receipt. Fantastic. Thank you, Jody. Thank you very much. Hope to. See you soon. See you too. Well, Devorah, I'm back from the Judaica store. Would you like to see that tzedakah box that I bought for us? All right, I think you're gonna like this one. It is a beautiful Beit HaMikdash tzedakah box. I think Devorah likes it. So I'll put that down right over here, Devorah. And why don't you take one of your coins and you can put it inside the tzedakah box. You get to be the first one who puts a coin in our new tzedakah box. Hooray! Devora did a mitzvah. Devora did a mitzvah. Devora did a mitzvah. A mitzvah today. The mitzvah of tzedakah. The mitzvah of tzedakah. The mitzvah of tzedakah. Hip hip. Hooray! Great job, Devora. Well, I'm really proud of you. You know, you earned that money yourself with your hard work. You could have used that money for anything in the whole world, but you chose to use some of it for tzedakah. You are really good at doing mitzvahs. Well, I'm gonna take our tzedakah box inside. And you know what, Devora? You reminded me of one of my favorite stories all about tzedakah. Come join me on the big yellow comfy couch and I'll tell you a story about tzedakah. Come along. <laughs> Wow, all this talk about tzedakah and how much Devora loves to give tzedakah has reminded me of one of my favorite stories. It's called Elazar Gives Elazar Gives Tzedakah. It's all about a man named Elazar 
who just loves giving tzedakah. Let's listen to the story. Many years ago, there lived a man named El Lazar. He lived in the city of Birta. He loved doing the mitzvah of tzedakah. Anytime he saw someone asking for tzedakah, he would run as fast as he could to give them some money or some food. He just loved doing the mitzvah. One day, he was heading to the market to buy some things when he saw some people asking for tzedakah. He ran right over to them and gave them almost all the money he had in his pocket. All he had left after doing the mitzvah was one small coin. And all he could buy that day from the market was one little grain of wheat. He brought his little grain of wheat home and put it in his barn, where he stored his grains. His daughter saw this and told her mother, Father has brought something from the market, and he put it in the barn. Elazar's wife went to the barn to see what her husband had bought. When she opened the door to the barn, piles and piles of wheat grains poured out through the door of the barn. A miracle had occurred because Elazar gave his money to Tzedakah and was only able to buy one grain of wheat, Hashem rewarded him and made that grain of wheat grow into many, many more. And what do you think Elazar did with all that extra wheat? What else? He gave it all to Tzedakah. Wow, what a beautiful story all about giving tzedakah. And of course, just like the story of Elazar, every time we give tzedakah, it brings so much bracha from Hashem. And even if we only give one coin a day, well, those coins will eventually grow to be many and many coins, just like the grain in this story. Oh, do you hear that? I think I know who's making those noises. I think it's Kugel the robot. Let's go see what he's up to today. Haha! <laughs> I just knew it was gonna be Kugel the robot. Hello, Kugel. How are you today? Baruch Hashem, Rabbi B. And how are you? I'm doing great, Baruch Hashem. Thank you for asking. Can I guess that you're here because you have the question of the day? Affirmative, Rabbi B. All right, I'll push the button, and let's hear today's question. Hi, Rabbi B. My name is Arami, and I have a question. What's the best way for me to give tzedakah? Wow, Avrami, that's a really great question. What's the best way to give tzedakah? Well, the best way for you to give tzedakah is to have a tzedakah box in your home, and even better, to have one in your room and have a bowl of coins, and every day take one coin from the bowl and put it in the tzedakah box. And when that tzedakah box gets full, you can bring it to a teacher, a rabbi, a rebetzin, or your parent, and they can bring it to a shul or a school to help the community and help give it to tzedakah. Excellent question. But Rabbi B, one coin is not a lot of money. Oh, that's true, Kugel. One coin does not sound like very much. But you know what? The next day you give another coin, how many coins do you have then in the tzedakah box? Two. That's right. And the next day you'll have three, and then four, and before you know it, you'll have lots and lots of coins inside that tzedakah box. Actually, okay, Kugel, can you load up a picture of the penny growth chart? You got it, Rabbi B. Well, if you look here, you see that if you give one penny, you'll have one penny. But if you give two the next day, and then if you double that again, and again, and again, and again, for a whole month, well, that could add up to millions and millions of dollars. <laughs> now, of course, we don't have that many pennies. But this was just to show you how fast your pennies and your coins can grow in a tzedakah box. 
So keep on giving tzedakah every single day, except for Shabbat and Yom Tov, of course. Rabbi B, I don't have my own tzedakah box. Oh, well, there's an easy way to fix that. You could make your own. How about this, Kugel? I just bought a brand new tzedakah box for Devorah and me, but how about I make a special tzedakah box just for you? That would be great. Excellent. Okay, Kugel, you wait right here, and I'll see you in the art room, and I'll show you how you could make your very own tzedakah box. I'll see you soon. You know, it's a really great idea to have your own tzedakah box, and you could keep it in your room and give tzedakah every single day. Well, you don't need to go and buy one. You could just make one yourself. Here's one I made out of an old Play-Doh container. It has a lid that comes off, and I cut a little square hole into the top, and that could be used as a tzedakah box. And I did the same thing with this can of tea. I cut a hole in the top, and that's also another fun way to give some tzedakah. But for today, I think I will use this kind of box for a tzedakah box. This is a cereal box tzedakah box. And all you need are a couple of things. First of all, you're gonna need a cereal box. I find the smaller boxes work best. And of course, we're gonna need a pair of scissors, some glue, and some colorful markers, and a blank piece of paper. Now, I've already cut this paper to the right height of the cereal box, and you could get a grown-up to help you. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap this piece of paper around the cereal box to make it white, and then I'm gonna be able to decorate it to make it any kind that I like. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is take our cereal box and we're gonna cut off the long sides of the box top. Just the long sides of the top and get rid of those because we're not gonna need them. <laughs> All right, okay. Next, we're gonna take a smaller rectangle that fits right on the top of the box there. But before we glue it on, we have to make a hole. So we're gonna fold it in half and we're gonna cut a rectangle shape right into the top of the box. Just like that. And then when we open it up, we have kind of a tzedakah box top. So now we're going to put some glue right onto the top of those other flaps of the top of the cereal box. And just glue on that piece right on the top. There we go. And that will be the top of our tzedakah box. Perfect. Next thing we want to do is we want to glue the paper onto our cereal box. That way we can decorate it any way we like. So we're going to put some glue over the whole paper. All the sides and the corners and the middle. That way it's going to be nice and glued. Then we're going to flatten that paper glue side up. Put our cereal box right on top, right in the middle. And then just fold up one side of the paper and then fold up the other side of the paper. And there we go. Our tzedakah box is already covered with some glued paper. All right. The next thing we want to do is decorate our tzedakah box. I think I'll first start by writing the word tzedakah. That's tzaddik, dalid, kuf, and hey, tzedakah. And of course, you can fill in those letters. And of course, get a grown-up to help you write those letters. Unless you want to try yourself. It's always good to try things yourself. Here we go. Tzedaka. And because it's for Kugel, I think I'll make it very pretty. I'll make some stripes. Going like this. Just some black stripes. And of course, you could decorate your tzedaka box any way you like. You could color any colors that you like. And maybe because Kugel is friends with Devora, I'll make yellow stripes, some yellow and black stripes. Kind of like Devora's colors. All right, put our markers back and cover our glue so it doesn't dry up. And there we go. Your very own cereal box to duck a box. <laughs> I think I'll give this one to Kugel the robot so he can give tzedakah too. But of course, when we're done our craft, we put away all our things so we'll know where to find them next time. I'll see you soon. Hey, Kugel.
Google, I made you something. Your very own tzedakah box. Here you go. Thank you, Rabbi B. You're welcome. And now you can give tzedakah every day, too. What a mitzvah. Wow. Rabbi B. Yes, Kugel? Do you have a coin that you could spare? <laughs> I sure do. Here you go. Thank you, Rabbi B. What are you going to do with that coin? Are you going to buy some extra oil for your gears? Negative. I am going to give tzedakah. Ooh, what a mitzvah. Let's sing together. Kugel did a mitzvah. Kugel did a mitzvah. Kugel did a mitzvah. A mitzvah today. The mitzvah of tzedakah. The mitzvah of tzedakah. The mitzvah of tzedakah. Hip, hip. Hooray! Great job, Kugel. Oh, I hear an alarm. Kugel. Oh, let me turn that alarm off. Kugel, does that mean it's time to say shalom? Yes, it does, Rabbi B. Oh, well, I hope you had fun learning about the mitzvah of tzedakah and visiting a Judaica store. Keep on giving tzedakah. Keep on doing all those mitzvahs until next time. But for now, it's bye-bye from Kugel the Robot. Bye-bye. Devorah the Bee. And me, Rabbi B. Shalom! I don't know what package to take. Uh, maybe a new car. Or maybe a, a watch. Or maybe a new shaitel for you. Why don't we just give Tadaka just for the mitzvah? That's a great idea, Iris. Rabbi B loves hearing from fans. Please send any fan mail, drawings, or questions to rabbibmusic at gmail.com. Tovito, 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 Tovito.